A lot of my work is looking at intersections, so looking at the intersection of disability and Samoan concepts and kind of uh, seeing the kind of multiple narratives that are occurring. I've been making drawings using the keyboard that I see them as visual poems. They could be a drawing, they could be a poem, or they could be a choreographic score. I'm often refusing the ability to kind of um, name the work that I'm doing or put it in a particular box and I'm always trying to think through what are the multiple things that are happening in one space and so I think I'm always thinking about those layers. Slippery. I was a type of artist for a long time that was very kind of beholden to a specific medium. I studied photography, that's sort of the thing that I know how to do moment where I started trying out whether it was music or filmmaking or choreography or performance um, these were all things that I had in a way no sort of training in and the unknowing of those things actually led me to generate I think better ideas 3d maps projection project, which really looks at cultural memory erasure through uh, vacant and abandoned buildings. Um, and this one in particular, the first one anyway, will be in Baltimore, where about right now I think 20% of the buildings are, are vacant and a lot of it is connected to divestment and racism and gentrification. This piece is really just showing kind of the day-to-day -day quotidian life over like a hundred years of the residence. So it looks like a, a skeletal view of the house. I'm currently in a period of uh, reflection, especially following the last three months that I spent in Beirut where an uprising was taking place. For me, the artistic process is sort of an alibi for a wider conversation to exist and I feel like practicing politics cannot take place only through an artist's medium or through the artwork. I think there are so many engagements that have to take place around practice itself and a practice can only hold weight once it fits within a larger set of uh, relations and engagements.